All right, welcome to part three. Part one and two are already up. I'm posting the first three parts already on the channel. So without further ado, let's finish showing these poems to these girls. Uh, let's go with Sayori. Let's just go in order. Why not? Ugh. This is a good poem, Caribou. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. I'm, I'm the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time. I guess you're right, but that's why it's impressed. Why it impressed me? Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously, or that you wouldn't write it one at all. I'm really happy that you just wrote one. It reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. <laughs> I'm really into it yet. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I won't, that I'm going to break my promise. Dyslexia, I will conquer you! See? It's like I said before, Caribou. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know. Trying new things like this for other people, that's something that, that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees a full picture of my motive here. Then again... I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all? Yeah. And I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish you away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> that was really good. What is with this game and making you want to continue to play over... I can see why people are getting hooked. I don't want to stop playing. Sayori, this is just I guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? No. J just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. At least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still try my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. <laughs> I made eggs and toast. <laughs> I'm glad. Even though you were late for school, it's bad to skip breakfast. That's very true. Eat breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. Hide the clown hair! Hide it! Hide it! Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, uh, yeah. But next time I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. I was hoping that we were gonna be able to read our poem, to be honest. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Alright. Uh, my back! Ah, oh, back brace work! Scoliosis, I will conquer you! Dyslexia, I will conquer you! Mm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to reach to finish the reading. Um. Oh. S sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine. Don't force yourself. I I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might, that it might be after reading through it. Ah, so it's bad. No? Did I just raise my voice? I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. 
I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having, and having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on that. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very de deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both styles and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's something you can't be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes together with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. No, Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Uh, um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine! I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind, do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd like to share my thoughts, pro my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamingly, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, it's supposed to be a literature club. Ghost under light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green blue hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickens. I flicker back. I'm sorry, I have a, such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you so long to read. Uh, I just don't read scripts very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Ah, uh, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? This chick is calling us stupid! <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Caribou. Really? I must have totally missed the point! Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. And you are a stupid, stupid man with a stupid, stupid monkey brain. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and express experiences in their work. You stupid monkey man. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture, monkey man. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolical compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well... It makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. What? Why? <laughs> Hi, Caribou. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you have ever if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? 
All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, I want to share your poem with you. Want to share your poem with me? Yeah, obviously. It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Caribou. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of bear that we'll all learn to get past soon. I'll, I have to admit that I really do like Monica. She is definitely up there for me, too. It's between her and... Sundra. <laughs> it's, between, it's, it's between those two. I do like leaders. Very strong. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. I like it, Caribou. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no. It's kind. It's kind of. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. Obviously. And she's a good writer too. So take that as a compliment. <laughs> if you say so. Yep. By any chance, have you read anything by Shel Silverstein? Uh, maybe a long time ago. He's famous for telling all kinds of stories in such a simple, in just a few simple words. His poems can be funny, endearing, or even sad. And sometimes they're only a few lines long. They might even feel like they're written for kids. But if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anyone. I see. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that. Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably won't find much filler in her poems. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. Why didn't I get nothing from it? I'm sure I'll, kind of, I'll end up trying different things a lot. It sure takes a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. Are you sure about that? Why, why are you trying to be so nice to me, lady? So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. I wasn't! What are you implying? It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Why are you saying that? Obviously, I'm not trying to impress them. Yeah, cute shit. Stop. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem? Now? Yes. Just stop. Stop trying to butter me up. Don't like that. Get it. Don't worry. I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. That's very true. <laughs> I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. Hole in wall. There's no the. There's hole in wall. What's wrong with you, kid? I couldn't have been me. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes? A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I real blind like a feel or real? What is that? I real blind like a film left out of the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Always already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out, and he on the other side was looking in. That wasn't bad. I like that. I actually really like that one. <laughs> as much as I was stumbling my words, that's probably my favorite out of the four. So what do you think? Um, it's very freeform, if that's what you want to call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That's it. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. 
What was the inspiration behind this? Ah, uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess I could say that I had some sort of epi epiphany, there you go, recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. It's me. An epiphany! <laughs> Boys! Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that. Because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or something, or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll get a big dark puddle of ink. There you go. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay. <sighs> I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. That's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. <sighs> I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. Oh, more, okay. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They're gingerly exchanging sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As, as they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clear about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Uh, you mean you have a hard time trying to come up with something nice to say? Oh! <laughs> Thanks, but it really, it just, it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. <sighs> she doesn't take suggestions well. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who I actually liked. Which people did. But Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Caribou did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciated the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Ooh, it's pretty awkward in here! Which I haven't yet. <laughs> and Caribou liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? Put it in the gun, please. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, that's not what I... Uh, you, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Caribou appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. I'm going to use the candy cane and get me off this planet. I don't want to be here anymore. 
I hate it here! Huh, and how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cute. Um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Caribou started showing up. N Natsuki! Um, uh, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Caribou... She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she couldn't... If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out as at the reader, not force them to, have to figure things out. Help me explain that to her, caribou! Wait... There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste of time. You understand that, right, Caribou? Um... Well, uh... How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Well, it was a matter of time. Conflict. Here's the truth, guys. I don't care. <laughs> I'm about to say help me, Sayori. But that would be conflicting with the fact that I actually am leaning more towards Yuri. Natsuki is a nice girl, okay? Natsuki is very nice. She's not my type. Yuri's my type, but she's very young, and that's very off-putting. Help me, Sayori. Natsuki! Natsuki glares at me, drawing up any words I had in my mouth. So instead, I turn to Yuri. Yuri! But Yuri's expression is so defenseless, I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Say Yuri! Huh? Yeah? Everybody is fighting. Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Kiribu? Well, that's her problem. It, this isn't about her. I, I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being. She would never. It's your immaturity that's made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why, exactly why no one likes... Stop! Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. And I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems, they're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? B because... Well... Also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. Sayori. Sayori stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. I really did feel like I made the right decision, though. Even though that's leaning more towards her, me liking her, I don't like the neighbor types. I still like the character, though. So this is why Sayori is vice president. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things, 
But I'm not very good with people. I could even I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that comes that's kind of embarrassing for me. <laughs> nah. It's not like I can blame you. It was I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own way. Isn't it? You can say that, even though I said that wrong. You can say that. She might be a, a bit of an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knock. Why can't I go for her? They're giving me, like, all three of them. Like, I really like this girl. I'm actually... I, I'm starting to actually lean more towards her than any of the other ones. Such a genuine person really doesn't make a good president. Regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Okay, there we go. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all sh feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Caribou, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everybody. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you'll learn something from your friends. Oh, we're still to doing another poem. So your poems will turn out even better. Wee! <laughs> I, think, I think to myself, I did learn a little, little more about the kinds of poem everybody likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Caribou, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, about what happened earlier. What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki? Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't... you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. Whew. You know, Caribou, it's nice that I get to spit... Think wow, I was doing so well. I was on a roll. I was happy. We can do this. It's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. You think? They're practically throwing themselves at me. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <laughs> it looks like Siri still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Alright. We save. I'm calling it. I'm calling it, guys. It's... Oh. Wow. When I do that, there's a black. Oh! It's okay. <laughs> I'm calling it. First three episodes are up today, right now. Stay tuned for some more Doki Doki Literature Club. It's actually a really good game. Um, the first... The, the first, like, 20 minutes, I was just like, I don't see the I don't see the appeal. But the more you actually get to know the characters, and the more you actually get to play the game, you actually find yourself... Uh, more and more, you know, into it. And I can definitely say that about myself as far as this game goes. So uh, stay tuned for some more in the future. I'll definitely be pulling this back up. And if you haven't supported or uh, subscribed to your boy, make sure to do that so you don't miss any of this wonderful Doki Doki content. Uh, remember to like and support your boy down in the comment section as well. And I'll see you in the next time. Peace off. Thank you.